To learn how to cite information, you must first know a few key terms. A source is a place where your information comes from. It might be a print source, or a digital source such as the internet, or even a person such as in an interview. To cite information means that you give credit in writing to the sources you are using in your presentation or your essay. If you fail to cite sources, you might be plagiarizing, which means that you are stealing someone else's intellectual property. Plagiarism can result in disciplinary action in school and may even result in legal action in the real world. A quotation is the use of someone else's exact words. Many people use quotations in their writing to provide text-based evidence. It is important to use the exact words that were written or spoken. If you do use a quote, you should tell who said it and use quotation marks. In some cases, you will also need to tell where you got it from. Sometimes writers also paraphrase, which means to put something in your own words. This is useful when there is a large amount of information and a quote would be too long. You should still cite this information because even if you are using your own words, you are still using someone else's ideas. General knowledge is the type of information that most people know. For example, many teenagers have cell phones. You do not need to cite general knowledge because it is not credited to one specific source. On the other hand, specific information is different. This type of information is not known by everyone. Many facts and almost all statistics are considered specific information. This information should always be cited because it is not commonly known. Another thing people don't often realize is that photographs, video, and artwork are considered intellectual property and should also be cited. In general, if you are in doubt, stay on the safe side and cite the information that you use.